Hello. Hel Hello and good evening, everybody. Mm. Uh, just a second, I'm trying to, yeah, to get this. Strange. All right, hello, everybody. Mm. Let's begin with uh, our today's webinar. I'm sorry, but somehow my mm, camera, somehow it's just, it's lagging quite uh, enormously. So I'm just switching it off this time. But, uh, well, I hope it's, it's all right by you. So anyhow, let's begin today's web, uh, webinar on the topic of, of uh, Skyway technology. Today we're going to see what has done in the world with this new um, new area technology, this 21st century technology, which which has come to change our all all of our lives. So uh, it doesn't matter where we are from; uh, it's just um, uh, it's just important to notice that Skyway will will be um, implemented uh, uh, all around the world in every continent so therefore let's see why is it so and what is this uh, all about what is this technology all about but uh, first a little bit about me my name is michael i'm from estonia and i have been uh, an investor of this technology for about three years by now and i have seen a lot i have been Mm, twice in the Skyway Demonstration and Certification Center. One is located in Belarus near Minsk and the other one is located in United Arab Emirates near Dubai in Sasha to be exactly exact. So anyhow, mm, uh, we'll go and take a glimpse at first to see what has been done in the United Arab Emirates and as you can see on this picture it's just amazing and this is the first line mm, constructed there this is uh, fully ready and it's already uh, well the certification process uh, is actively going on on, the, on that uh, rail uh, both with humans and without humans so the passengers are also allowed now to take a ride with it so hopefully um, when the expo 2000 well it's expo 2020 but it takes place this year when it starts then skyway is also there mm, not hopefully but skyway is definitely there but hopefully people visitors of the expo can uh, also go to such innovation center and uh, see this all with their own eyes and uh, and get the experience of uh, driving with it yeah from another picture from another angle here and then the this is the echo house and what's uh, amazing about this house is that uh, well it is fully autonomous well it's meant at least to be fully autonomous in the future and that means it produces its own electricity water uh, temperature it holds uh, the temperature uh, necessary or needed uh, as well as the food uh, should be um, growing there and and uh, and it's made out of wood so this is the first ever wooden house as well that uh, that has been built in uh, in united arab emirates so first ever wooden house at least officially uh, officially built so that also shows how great relationships we have with uh, with 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 our local government there. Just brilliant. And um, from another angle, picture the same echo house. 
And this is the Tropical Unicar, the first uh, model that was transported uh, in, a, well, that was, um, well, um, yeah, that was um, taken there. For, it, it was uh, first, firstly, it was developed and manufactured in Belarus, and then it uh, was, uh, then they took it there. And now it's uh, driving there, it's uh, tropical, um, it's luxurious tropical unicorn for seeded and then uh, many of the shakes have also already uh, had the chance to try with it. So this is amazing. And now this is the latest achievement. Um, this is the unicorn meant well, this transportation model is meant to to take uh, cargo from uh, one point to another, and this is the first one. This is uh, much smaller than the large one. Well, this the sea container especially is is uh, is the half a half of the size that will be there as well. So that's why they are building uh, two another tracks at the moment. They both will be two and uh, two point four kilometers long. And uh, one of them is specially meant to to for for sea containers, so there will be. But I will show more pictures and, and tell you more about it. And this is an animation of uh, of um, I, I believe it. This was the forty eight uh, person holds forty eight person. This this model, both uh, sitting and the standing positions. All right. Now let's begin with um, traditional format of this webinar we will we will uh, firstly go a little bit back in the future we'll see what has been done already and why we, and then we will see the seven reasons why skyway is here to stay and why it's needed and first let's go back about 100 years ago a uh, time where when artists pictured a future as you can see on this slide and this is actually very true because when we think about what we have already on the first level i'm by first level i mean the ground floor and on the ground floor we have absolutely fantastic infrastructure already um, produced maybe only the self-driving cars that will be there as well will be the next achievement of humankind but uh, mostly we have we have all the cars we have the trams trolley buses trains and even we have the underground, the subway systems, at least in uh, most of the bigger cities. But what is the thing that's um, the problems um, caused by multiple vehicles or, or about many vehicles in the in the traffics and in the cities that cause uh, traffic jams, for example, accidents and so on. So the problems um, are not solved, but they arouse more and more over time. And that's why we need a another solution and another solution can only be to go to the second level and that is to go up and that's why skyway is here people of course have tried it many times and then successfully we have many different technologies for example like on these slides the train on the high stand um, road and then on the right side we have this monorail technology but they both are very massive as you can see on this picture especially the monorail type which is more similar to skyway but not but not the same at all this is also monorail mm. and just bear in mind this uh, these enormous constructions and the, the enormous road that it needs and these supports here there's uh, peton supports also, they are very massive to hold the way of this transportation technology. And then we have this one here. This is um, from Germany. The picture is made in Germany and then this, this drives there. But uh, also, as you can see, the supports um, behind the red uh, model, there are they they are after every 10 to 15 meters. So they are, have to be in, well, very tightly together uh, so it can hold this uh, road structure above and that's why well it's basically impossible to put it in the in, inside the city uh, at, as, at least well I mean the buildings on the right and on the left it's uh, the, and that well that's why it's on here on the rivers riverside 
so it doesn't harm the eye as well. Everything is possible, but let's see. Moreover, and this picture is made in China, and this is basically a tram tramway, but upside down. And uh, by the, by the technology technological aspects, it doesn't uh, different uh, different from trams much. And this uh, this this slide this slide and these pictures describe the, the technology, which is also very widely used. For example, I have seen it myself in uh, Vietnam on the island of Phu Quoc, where is the longest uh, mm, uh, longest track of this technology. Then, of course, I have seen it in Romania, in Turkey. I know that in America there is this technology and many, many places uh, more. Well, especially in ski resorts, for example. But by technology, this basically describes, or what these pictures are meant to describe, is that there there is an engine. Mm, in the beginning of the track or in the end of the track and there is just one one engine of this like you can see on the right side this orange wheel so to say and this wheel spins and therefore the track also moves but these models these capsules um, which take people on board those do not move uh, themselves they do not have engines them them so so the so the only the chain or the track itself moves that's the thing here about these pictures and then of course the subways metros um, underground systems um, which are very very expensive to construct and uh, again most of the bigger cities already have implemented them and then in japan i have seen a video from, that's made in japan how there are specially hired personnel who pushes people inside the track sorry not track but the train or the or the subway they just push it because there are so many people and they all want to get to board and, and by themselves they cannot just fit there and so the people will push them from outside of the subway well not very comfortable i believe to to try drive with those and now we'll see this is skyway and I welcome you to the new age, as you can see on this picture already, this is very neat, very classic, very beautifully architecture and designed uh, technology. And then the reasons, as I mentioned before, we're going to see now. The first reason why Skyway is that it is innovative, it is fully electrical, mm, it there can be solar panels or wind turbines implemented to the track which can produce the electricity which is for moving uh, or, or for loading batteries for example and and of course the design uh, itself and never before has humankind or any scientists put in, uh, these technologies together they all exist in the world as you can know everything exists in the world but uh, they have never been put in together as uh, Anatoly Niske has done it. And here, this is the Unibus, and picture is made. This is the real picture. I think it wasn't. I didn't make it. Make it. I think it was by by another photographer. But um, I was also there on that event, and this uh, this is the rail. Well, basically, the similar one will be built in the United Arab Emirates as well in Innovation Center and, and uh, the sea container. So what is what, what I want to say with this picture is that with Skyway, if we compare it with trams or trains, uh, with Skyway we can drive both above the track and below the track at the same time. But with the train or with the normal or traditional railways, we can only move um, on the pair of rail in one direction at the, at the same time. So yeah. And then what's special about it is that there are pre-stressed strings, which you can see on the above, well, in the rail track itself uh, above. The, this uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven, yes, seven strings on this uh, uh, certain picture in one punch, I mean, and three punches in both of the rails. This will hold the track. And then there is a special rail head and the body frame, and it's filled with a special filler. And also what's, uh, what's great to understand or know is that we can take, for example, electricity cables or internet cables through the track 
uh, its uh, itself as well. So in Africa, for example, where many of the villages still do not have electricity, we can take it uh, to them via this uh, Skyway track. And this is also this uh, picture is uh, made by me, mm, and, um, and this is this was two years ago when when uh, the the event called EcoFest 2019 took place in uh, Belarus, and I got the chance to drive with the unicar which you see on the picture in the in the sky uh, with that as well. It was about 15 20 meters above the ground, and it's just amazing. You can also see this uh, on video. If you put my name into YouTube, there is uh, one video about one minute uh, long or short, which you can see. I recommend it to do it. And the second point is that Skyway is ecological. And, and as you can see on this picture, it suits very well with the surroundings. It doesn't harm an eye and so on so and again on this picture the the what i tried to describe a few slides uh, back that uh, it's possible to try both directions or well one directions um, with the two uh, similar models at the same time or with well like on this picture one above and the other um, below and since the, uh, since it's electrical, it doesn't um, cause any CO2, um, at least direct CO2 collision, or, or yeah, and um, and this these technologies, what you can see on the picture at the moment, is will disappear in the near future, or at least in in Europe. But uh, wind uh, resistance is the. Um, it, is meant by this slide what I want to describe is about the wind resistance and which is about 10 times less with Skyway because of the shape of the body and the second very important uh, uh, aspect to notice is that it has um, since it has rails and it's above the ground the wind can perfectly go beneath the models and therefore there won't be any screen effect that cause causes the uh, wind resistance like with cars when it drives on the road the road the road causes wind resistance the wind can go cannot go clearly uh, beneath the uh, car and of course many problems with the first level surroundings that are well mm, uh, that takes a lot of financials and and the manpower to clear up and clean and therefore, Skyway do not have these problems since it's above the ground, and then there is not, there is no need for, well, basically the grass can grow, and there is no need to clean the bath, the bath or or whatever reasons there might be. And then with this slide, I want to say that, uh, well, let's talk, let's talk about the the the, the right side first, picture on the right side first, this explosion. Um, sector is very very well developed in nordic countries like finland sweden and of course in countries like um, italy and so on where, where they need to ex make explosions in the mountains to build new tracks but it's very very expensive and on the left side to construct new railroads for example or new tracks we need to dig about uh, five to seven meters below the ground and fill it with special filler which also has to be taken from somewhere and we have to clear the whole bath so if there is a forest so, or um, we know in Estonia there are houses even that, that basically government buys for for a cheap money and then then uh, tears down and builds roads through those where where, where basically houses were before uh, we, in not not in city or city of course but but in in uh, rural areas so yeah, but with Skyway, basically um, sky is limit, as I like to say, and then uh, the track can be lifted even about hundred meters above the ground. So therefore, no forest or, or no mountain, like you can see on this picture, we can take it from the bird site. This tracks just placing supports from one place and the other place, and no river, lake, uh, water. Uh, is is not uh, well 
won't cause any trouble. Yep, traffic jams, new sh um, new uh, ports that are constantly being built, and of course all the cars that uh, are left well unused or or are already used and basically are, are for waste metal. So we are causing a lot of troubles with this um, uh, particular behavior. And of course, that's because the economical situation is getting only better in the world. And almost every person who is grown up and have a driver's license can, can afford at least some car. And therefore, uh, the problems still occur and even grow. And we need solution. And solution is here. This is Skyway. We, and since we know that European directives and, and well, the European Union countries, they are planning to do so that the cars will be left um, in uh, suburban areas in special um, parking places and then people can take public transportation systems or bikes or um, scooters or whatever electri electrical vehicles um, what by that time exist they can they uh, will go with those to the cities and to the workplaces and so on so they they plan to and at first there will be pan for fossil fuel cars so, so these engines which burn fuel those machines won't be allowed inside the cities and uh, later on the, I, I believe it's the same thing for electric electric electrical cars so there w will be only like transportation technologies like you see on the slides and therefore skyways is a perfect mm, perfect way to solve these issues to a point is safety many people ask about safety is it safe how come it's safe and so on and it's it's almost number one question after people understand that this technology is amazing but now let's talk about safety there is a, a special derailment system and motor wheel which holds it on the track so if we lift it upside down it won't fall anywhere so it will uh, be very stiff like a spider clings to clings to windows or or um, Floor, not floors but ceilings and there is a 360 degrees eye uh, well this um, automated intelligence system which will basically if any obstacle should arouse or, or come in, in the way it automatically stops and sends information um, uh, to the station or somewhere to, to so to let know what happens in, and inside the models there are also cameras so if you cross the borders, for example, we can show the passport and then and, and, and move on. And then if anything happens uh, with a model on the track about the crown, for example, then the, the, there are many same, similar uh, models driving on this track. Just um, maybe not at the same time, but we, if something happens with one model, then the other one has the special elements in front and in the end. Well, each of these, these unibuses, for example, have these elements which will match with uh, the other model perfectly and it can either pull or lift it to the well, maintenance or the station or wherever it's needed to do, um, to transport it. And this picture below, um, this is a real life picture as well and they showed it, they showed us in, in Ecofest how this works. And if the previous solution solution wouldn't wouldn't be possible somehow maybe they're like uh, whatever reasons then we can just pull the um, like in helicopters or or, or, the, or the old knowledge it's old knowledge already as we know we can put it around our waist or our body the straps and uh, lift us down well it's most certainly it's much more safer than driving with this way right hmm. all right fourth point is that we have our own models and products and many of them are already certified by russian and Belarus standards and the certification process already goes on in uh, united arab emirates as well as it started uh, in the end of the last year it started in europe as well certification process for its models and we have our own manufacturing and, and uh, many bureaus and so on. 
so this this team is doing amazing job and these what you can see on this picture this all these models exist and uh, i have seen myself them driving the uniwin unibike unicars unibuses and the high speed unibus as well but high speed unibus the, the well the track which is meant for it it has to be about 20 to 30 kilometers long so this one uh, will uh, be constructed it, it hasn't been done yet uh, it hasn't done yet uh, and uh, it should um, it, they should construct it in the near future in about uh, 1.5 one, one and a half years one and a half to two years the track should be ready for high-speed universe and then we can see the speeds up to five to six hundred kilometers per hour here is one picture I have brought out for you, the Tropical Unicars in Sharjah, also real picture. And this is Unicorn, this is the revolutionary one, and uh, the contract is signed as well in United Arab Emirates between the cities uh, Sharjah and Korfakan, about 100 kilometers long track, which should come for, especially for this Unicont. Unicont. And, um, and this also we will see uh, later this year and in the beginning of uh, next year we will see these uh, tests and certification processes for the, this unicorn uh, right now that the uh, picture what you saw in the beginning that one was uh, was uh, much uh, smaller but the track also was a monorail not the double rail which comes as you can see on this picture how it will look like and again two sides at the same time so if at the moment the, the trucks, the cars which take uh, sea containers or ships, they will travel about uh, 20, 15 to 20 kilometers per hour, uh, per hour um, average. The average speed is 20 kilometers about. But, uh, well, it's because of the pauses they have to take and the naps, so to say, what the truck drivers have to take. And, uh, for example, in Italy, on high highways, uh, Saturday and Sundays, uh, the days Saturday and Sunday are banned for uh, truck drivers, so uh, it's much more difficult and takes much more time with uh, to transport the cargo with uh, those nowadays technologies. But with Skyway, we can firstly we can take two sides at the same time. We can uh, ride it above and beneath the track. And the other aspect is that the speed is about the 90 kilometers per hour, 80 to 90 and the uh, loading process is under one minute. 5th point, why Skyway? Is that demand for Skyway is everywhere. And uh, well, we started from Republic of Belarus, we have made our way to United Arab Emirates and I know inside the well, information is that there are already many, many, many projects uh, and many people and personals who who are making their way to to success, successfully implement uh, Skyway in their countries? So there are all different all, people from all different kind of levels. But um, unfortunately, my, I myself do not know the exact details about all the projects. And uh, and if I know, then I'm not allowed to to tell them before the well the official news will come. Six point is that we have a strong and professional team. We have more than 600 workers, we have many design bureaus, our own manufacturing, as I said. So the work goes on and the has great, uh, created a, a great team. Seven point is that uh, Skyway is financially beneficial. And uh, I can see two, two large uh, groups here. First large, large group is uh, the customer, let it be, well, the government or the city or the or it can be the private in private sector companies orders and uh, this is mainly due to the fact that well Skyway is much cheaper than all the other uh, possible alternatives and all and the other uh, aspects I've already told you uh, within this webinar so it, it's a great technology in the second level very fast inside city inside the city it can go up to 150 kilometers per hour for example and so on so um, this is the first side and the second side is that it's uh, beneficial for investors investors like me myself and, and many of you i believe 
who have um, well given them money to the company to to construct and then uh, start this amazing uh, business and when it uh, goes profitable uh, or goes uh, when it goes profitable it, it will g- give dividends to us to investors and when it goes to a stock market uh, through IPO then we can of course uh, share and trade freely the shares we have acquired through the investing but more about the investing side and uh, and all the news also which I will tell you today are possible to find in your back offices all right and this about this project I already told you the Corfa can project 100 a um, little bit more than 100 kilometers long and then this is just amazing then second news this I already covered you within this uh, webinar but uh, let's say it again we will take part in expo in Dubai so I re- recommend all of you, you to go over there and see the Skyway technology and, and uh, all this uh, by yourself and with your eyes as well. Then um, uh, quite recently we were, um, well, many of the different international media reports were made on achievements uh, of Skyway in the United Arab Emirates. For example, in, well, of course, in the United Arab Emirates, there were many, many major a news channel that covered and then showed this uh, on their television also in French uh, the French television covered us uh, from India we were covered CNN in and in United uh, sorry in USA they uh, they showed us and I was in, we were in Australia TV as well and in Romania and many others as well so this is all recent news within a few uh, past months just amazing the now the future publication was made about Skyway certification and targeted projects, which told more about these details and the information, and how everything goes, and, and about that. And they said also that the, the first um, contract uh, or the projects should be fully signed uh, by the end of this year. And it, uh, sorry, not signed, but it's already signed. But it should uh, the construction should should start uh, in the end of this year and end uh, in uh, 2023 and now let's see how it will look like the linear city mock-up for expo 2020 and this uh, this will be placed in the well in the hall where it takes place there are all different kinds of technologies and as you can see on this picture it's just amazing and this is the linear city between which the scale will will write. This is uh, one to fifteen. The measurement or was one, one to twenty. And also the Construction Week magazine published an article about Skyway, uh, which was really great. Again, they will cover mainly the new technologies and transportation technologies. All right, we have come to an end. Um, Talai Lama here is giving his blessing. It was about a few years ago when uh, Anatoly Niski met with the Dalai Lama himself, the great holy, holy, uh, holy man, spiritual man. And the uh, Dalai Lama also said that this path which you have taken, this is not easy, but eventually you will success, succeed in this and, and will be successful. So therefore, this was the last... Uh, sentence I, I will or the last slide I always like to show people to lift the energies all right next webinar will take place 25th August the same time so stay tuned and it then until then go to your back offices and and uh, hopefully uh, well share this information and then hopefully we will have more and more people here on these webinars and we have more and more investors to support the technology and we will be successful soon. I know that and therefore I wish you all a great evening and have a nice uh, week ahead of you. All right. Goodbye, everybody.